Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is a Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and we're doing a crumble cookie copycat recipe. So excited for that. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. I will have my recipe website at the top of the description box. That is where you will find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making breakfast bunt cake. I'm so excited for this. It sounds so good, so delicious. I'm going to pair it with some fruit. Let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need eggs, whole milk, potatoes O'Brien, you can use fresh or frozen, French bread, salt and pepper, a yellow onion, diced ham, and reduced fat shredded cheese. So I sprayed my bun pan with nonstick cooking spray and then I took my chopped up French bread and just kind of layered it in the bun pan. And then we're adding about two and a half cups total of diced potatoes right on top. And then we are putting on one cup of diced ham. And then I've got my onion that I sliced up and I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of the ham. And then I'm going to take one cup of the light shredded cheese and sprinkle that on top. The recipe says two cups, but I'm just going to do one. You're not really going to taste the cheese. And if I can't really taste it, I don't want to take the calories, fat, points for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one cup total. And then into a bowl, I'm going to crack 12 eggs. added half of a cup of whole milk and I'm going to whisk that together. Add a little salt and pepper and pour it on top of the, pour it into the bun pan. The breakfast bunk cake is going into the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. You just want to make sure the eggs are cooked completely through. I just pulled the breakfast bunt cake out of the oven. I mean, look at how amazing this looks. I'm going to allow it to cool completely. I may or may not slice it up. I probably won't. Honestly, I'll just slice it out of here each day, but I'm so excited to have this for breakfast this week. For my lunch this week, I'm making creamy butternut squash gnocchi. I'm so excited for this. It is channeling everything fall. So let me show you what you'll need. So I'm actually going to sub the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. It's frozen. I'm just going to let it thaw. I figured I would use this since it was in my freezer. It's less calories. It's less points. It's just better overall than regular gnocchi calorie and point wise. It calls for butternut squash puree. So I'm just going to steam up these cubes and mash them up and make a puree out of them. I didn't want to buy one that was canned that had added sugar. So I'm just using fresh butternut squash. I'm using chicken sausage. I picked up poultry seasoning because it calls for two of the three fresh herbs that are in here. So I'm going to use that. It just ended up saving me a little bit of money. Salt and pepper, chicken broth, milk, and minced garlic. I just tossed that butternut squash in my Pampered Chef little steamer basket. I love this thing. One of the best things I ever bought years ago from Pampered Chef. I'm going to throw it in the microwave just until the broth, until the butternut squash is steamed and then I'm going to just mash it up and again make a puree. I'm also browning up that pound of chicken sausage. So into a large skillet, a pot, whatever your preference is, here is my cooked up chicken sausage. I was going to tell you, you can use links too. I just have this in my freezer. And then I'm adding my entire bag of gnocchi and then a big scoop of minced garlic. I'm going to give that just a quick stir and then we'll add in our butternut squash puree. So I went ahead and just steamed it up and smashed it to make that puree. Give again another quick stir. We just want to make sure everything gets mixed together. We're going to allow this to cook until the gnocchi is cooked through. I'm adding a cup of milk. And then half of a cup of chicken broth. And again, we're letting this come to a boil, simmer, get that gnocchi cooked. 
I'm going to add in all of those fresh herbs as well as some salt and pepper. Be mindful of the salt. If your sausage is really salty, if you use links, I would really be mindful of your salt, but I didn't use links, so I'm going to add in a little bit of salt. We're going to give that a stir. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. I'm going to reduce the heat, allow it just to simmer, get those herbs nice and fragrant, and then our lunch will be ready to go. So here is the butternut squash gnocchi. I'm telling you, this smells so good. It's going to be such a great lunch this week. I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, we are making copycat crumble cookies. We're doing the cinnamon swirl cookies. I'm so excited for this. So let me tell you what you'll need. You're going to need vanilla extract, powdered sugar or powdered sugar substitute of your choice, milk, light butter. I'm using sucrine gold, which is a brown sugar substitute. I love this one. It doesn't have any weird cooling effect. It tastes like actual brown sugar. I do buy it off of Nutrition. I do have a 10% discount for the entire Nutrition website. I will link it down below for you. All-purpose flour. My sweetener, as always, is allulose. You know I love allulose. It's derived from figs and raisins, so it's a natural sweetener. It doesn't have any weird effect, cooling effect like the sucre and gold. It's just really, really good. I buy it on Amazon. I'll link it on Amazon. They also sell it on Nutrition. So if you're placing a Nutrition order for the sucre and gold or pasta, you can grab allulose there. Salt, cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, eggs, and one-third less fat cream cheese. So to get started on the cookies, the first thing we're going to do is cream together our butter and our sugar. I did half the recipe because I just did that Halloween baking video and we don't need a million crumble cookies in our house. So I did half the recipe. I'll have the original recipe on my website. So for half, it was half of a cup of light butter, just over half of a cup of allulose, one and a half eggs, so I'm actually going to do one full egg and then I'll just do the whites of this other egg. And then our vanilla extract. And then with our handheld mixer, we're just going to cream this together. And then into a large bowl, I have two cups of flour, again, half what the recipe calls for. I'm going to add some cinnamon, salt, and then half of a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. I'm going to mix those dry ingredients together and then we'll add in the wet ingredients. So I'm adding in that butter, sugar, egg mixture and then stir that to combine and that's going to make the cookie dough. I have my baking sheet sprayed with nonstick cooking spray and I'm going to just scoop out the dough. I don't know how many cookies I'm going to get just because I halved the recipe. So it looks like I got 10 cookies. I'm actually going to flatten these out a little bit. I usually will just add a little cooking spray to my hand and then flatten out those cookies a little bit. And then our cookies are going into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Just make sure you don't overbake them. So to a saucepan, I added a quarter cup of light butter, half of a cup of sucre and gold, and some cinnamon. I'm going to cook this down on the stove. This is that cinnamon filling that will go on the cookie once it's baked. So the cookies are out of the oven. Here is that brown sugar sauce. We're basically just going to pour that on top of the cookies. And then in true crumble cookie fashion, you would actually put your frosting into a piping bag and pipe that little swirl on top. But I think I'm just going to frost the cookies once they're completely cool. But you can add all the frosting to a bag. The recipe for the frosting is on my website. I just mixed it up really quick when the cookies were coming out of the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and frost my cookies. I mean, who doesn't love a cream cheese frosting? even have a little bit of frosting left. And you know what, for fun, because it's almost Halloween, let's use some of these fun sprinkles I used in my Halloween baking video. And we'll just sprinkle just a little bit on top, again, just to bring in some Halloween fun. So here are the cookies. I just tried a little piece of one. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so soft. And then that cream cheese and cinnamon, yes. Absolutely. 
absolutely delicious. So I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. I love when we can create crumble cookie recipes at home. Don't forget these recipes are on my website. My website will be linked at the top of the description box. I'll also have nutrition coaching, get your macros and calories done, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday. Here's to an amazing successful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.